Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio, and today, uh, this could be good news for some, it's probably going to be very, very bad news for most of you listening to this, uh, and that is Masters of the Universe Revelation sequel series has been confirmed by Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is continuing his He-Man story as Masters of the Universe Revelation will get a follow-up titled Masters of the Universe Revolution. Masters of the Universe Revelation from filmmaker Kevin Smith is getting a continuation on Netflix. Announced in December 2019, Masters of the Universe Revelation was designed, was designed as a spiritual sequel to the original He-Man of the Masters of the Universe series that aired from 1983 to 1985. Netflix split Masters of the Universe Revelation into two parts, with part one premiering on July 23rd, 2021, and part two premiering on November 23rd, 2021, just in time for the Thanksgiving weekend. The series generated mixed responses with critics and general audiences seeming to like the series. However, there were some viewers who took issue with the series and even resorted to review bombing Revelation on Rotten Tomatoes shortly after part one premiered. Um, okay, with regards to the uh, review bombing of Masters of the Universe Revelation, if you're going to go so far as to kill off your titular character in the very first episode, yeah, people are going to be insanely pissed off. And because they couldn't see that second part until, when was it? Was that, uh, was that like, that's like four months, from July to November is about four months. So they had to wait four months to see the direction that they were actually going in with the series. But all of a sudden, by the end of episode one, oh, He-Man is dead. So that's it. Fra franchise over. You know, it would be, that would have been just, a, imagine... If you went to go see the movie You Only Live Twice, right? The the James Bond movie where he faked his death to sneak into Japan to uh, uncover Spectre in the dormant volcano and fight him with the army of ninjas. Well, imagine if that movie were released as a TV show nowadays and they show that pre credit scene where James Bond dies and then they tell you to wait four months for the for for the next episode and it's like well all you know is that well they just killed off james bond what the fuck is the point what the fuck is the point of this show and and the and the common defense is oh it's not he-man in the masters of the universe revelation it's just masters of the universe revelation except masters of the universe has always been associated with he-man and you went so far as to include he-man just to kill him off in the very first episode. So the review bombing on Rotten Tomatoes, in my opinion, was a hundred percent justified. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go for shock value, because shock value can go one of two ways. It could either really benefit you and generate headlines, or like it does in most fucking cases, it ends up fucking backfiring. And I remember when Kevin Smith was going on and on and on and on about people that were, you know, calling him and the show out for killing off He-Man in the in the very first episode, basically basically telling everyone to, you know, basically shut the fuck up and deal with it. So by the time part two came out, how many of you guys honestly cared about, you know, He-Man Masters of the Universe Revelation part two? Because personally, I didn't see almost any talk online about the second part of the series coming out on Netflix. But anyway, um, getting back to this article, because I know I, I tangented it for, for quite a bit there. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Master Universe Revelation ended its story on a cliffhanger, with the villainous Skeletor being assimilated by the Motherboard. It was then revealed that Motherboard had the insignia of Horde, the main villains from the She-Ra cartoon series that was a spin-off of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. That seemed to set the stage for a season two, though it is instead taking a slightly different form. Amid Netflix's Geeked Weekend event, Smith took to social media to announce the ma that Masters of the Universe Revelation is receiving a sequel series titled Masters of the Universe Revolution. Deadline confirmed more details about Revolution, which is described as a standalone story that follows the events of Masters of the Universe Revelation. It will bring the focus back to He Man, back to the He Man versus Skeletor battle, quote unquote, like you've never seen them, like you've never seen them before. Currently, no premiere date or cast has been announced. And here is that tweet from Kevin Smith up here: After Revelation comes Revolution. 
I'm ecstatic to be making more Masters Official with Mattel and Powerhouse Animation for Netflix. Big thanks to everyone who streamed our show last summer. You gave us the power to go back to Grayskull for another epic Eternian adventure. Says the guy who admitted that he was never a fan of Masters of the Universe and never watched a single episode. Yet let's make that guy our showrunner. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna really work out. How did it work out again? I have the Oh, yeah. And I know I already brought that point up, but I just want to reiterate that you killed off the main character in epi in episode one. Um, since the news that Netflix had lost subscribers for the first time in 10 years, the streamer has made multiple headlines over the past few months trying to repair its image while also reassessing their creative decisions. Shows like The Babysitter's Club and Space Force were canceled while many unmade animated series, including Bone, were shelved. Other in-development projects got the plug pulled on them as well. Netflix greenlighted another He-Man project from Smith. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I misread that. Netflix greenlighting another He-Man project from Smith shows that the streamer found Masters of the Universe Revelation to be a success and one they want to invest money into making more of. Netflix is heavily invested in the Masters of the Universe brand alongside the upcoming Masters of the Universe Revolution the streamer also has the CGI anime He-Man the Masters of the Universe, a family-friendly series that premiered two months after Masters of the Universe Revelation. In 2022, Netflix also acquired the film rights to the live-action Masters of the Universe reboot film with Kyle Allen set to play He-Man. Uh, the Lost City directors Aaron and Adam Nee are set, are set to helm the picture. Masters of the Universe Revolution looks to be part of Netflix's long-term plan to grow the franchise out as one of their signature brands, and Smith will continue to be a key creative voice within that brand. Personally, um, I think the I think the damage has been done. Uh, if I were if I if I were Netflix, I would cancel this uh, this uh, follow-up series. This Masters of the Universe Revolution, and I would greenlight the Bone series at this point, because as I as I said, guys, the the, da the damage is, has largely been done. You know, Kevin Smith coming out and telling everyone to be after the death of He Man, Kevin Smith coming out and telling everyone shut the fuck up and deal with it. And I know I'm re I'm really paraphrasing, and him just coming out and just attacking Clownfish TV nonstop. Now I'll now I'll be the first ones to admit I am not the biggest fans of of clownfish tv but at the same time he just keeps going on and on and on and on despite the fact that they're not really responding to him and the only time that and and the only thing that like really irked him was the fact that that they had that that they had heard like a rumor that he-man was going to be killed off in the new masters of the universe series ergo they were fucking right and now, and then you had Kevin Smith going on and on, start attacking them and anyone else in the families. Oh, I remember this. I remember when he, when he came out and I think, I think instead of saying, shut the fuck up and move on, he said something like grow the fuck up. It was something like that. So again, um, Netflix, they, I think that they put, they put their money there. They put their money on black when they should have put their money on red. Right, they put their money on Masters of the Universe Revolution when they should have really put their money on Bone because I think the Bone series would have done a hell of a lot better than a follow-up to this divisive mess known as Masters of the Universe Revelation. And guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know I'm terrible at ending these videos, so I will just see you guys uh, next time.